White text on screen reads Tokyo. The screen is split into three with shots out of the car window of grey high rise buildings and people on a zebra crossing. Day one in Japan, we landed and we're in a mini bus. <laughs> We've been going around all morning filming, we just had lunch, but honestly, Tokyo at the minute, you know, when you think of Tokyo, you think just everyone is so polite and kind. That is my experience. I know we've only been here for 24 hours, but also when we were in the airport, I just remember thinking, oh my gosh, I, it smells like I'm in someone's house. It smells really clean. It doesn't smell like an airport, which is a weird thing to say, but as a blind person, that's what struck me. Um, I didn't expect to be like, yeah, coming into a country. It was, it just smelled really lovely. So this morning I was in Harajuku with um, a lovely Japanese lady called Rika and she took me through like Harajuku style and fashion and we went to three different places. Um, you can see me like having fun in all these cutaways, but basically we went to a candy floss shop, which we don't really have in the UK. Um, it's mainly like chocolate shops we have in the UK and then we went to like fashion shops basically and then a hair shop when I tried on some wigs <laughs> but I love Harajuku style I actually bought this little purse so this is it <laughs> this is like true Harajuku style and fashion I think Hello Kitty um, kawaii. kawaii kawaii means cute so yeah I was feeling all of that but the the stuff was amazing. You took like loads of B-roll shots, didn't you, Ollie? I so did. you can see them on the screen right now. It's like really cute. At the moment, we're about to meet some gamers now. Um, you can hear the street behind me. I'm in the minibus. Um, and I'm just really excited to game with other blind people and not just meet them. Yeah, I'm so excited. And this Diet Coke, the plastic here, it's thicker. <laughs> it's like the plastic that we had in the UK like 10 years ago and the Diet Coke seems like it tastes the same. At the moment, um, being a vegetarian in Japan is okay, but I think it's because we're in a hotel called The Knots and it's quite like westernised, would you say, all? Yeah, the restaurant does like mainly yeah, Italian food. Mainly. So we had a lovely risotto last night. Well, I did. Japan. Yeah. <laughs> and then I've just had a salad. Oh. That's a guy passing. It's our cameraman. Oh, really? <laughs> I love it. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're about to basically go and game now for the first day. And then tomorrow we'll be heading to the metro. And I'm going to do like loads of bits, understanding what the metro is like in Japan and how accessible it is. And then we're going to go on a bullet train. I'm so excited to Sado Island. And then a uh, bullet train and then a ferry. So. I think I've got some peanuts stuck in my tooth. Oh. <laughs> this morning we also went on Shibuya Crossing, which was really cool because I was scared and I didn't know where I was, but it, yeah, I managed to cross. It's so long. And there was some graffiti with my name on it. <laughs> it was like it knew I was coming. I didn't know Lucy was like a typical, is it a Japanese name? Like, I don't know. Also guys, I don't think I said why I was here. It's a BBC shoot. Really exciting. Oh, it's gonna come out hopefully in September and my producer Carolina is here. She flew on the flight with us. We we're on the flight for like 15 hours, so jet lag is real when you're blind. I think it's taken me a bit longer than Ollie and Carolina to like adjust to this new time zone. Would you say you've adjusted already? I'm pretty adjusted. So, I have had a, like a coffee. But coffee that. Yeah. I I still feel very like it's early morning. <laughs> yeah, it's probably like early 3 a.m. in the UK. Yeah. Like and my body feels like it's like 3 a.m. right now, but we're powering through. <laughs> this is a very long segment of the vlog, but hello. <laughs> we're in Tokyo. I need to top up my makeup. I need to like put on some lip oh. oh, That was me just accidentally wrecking <laughs> the little drinks holder on our chair. Day two in Tokyo. Earrings, new look. Hair, my own, curled. <laughs> um, top, new look. Bottoms, Lululemon, because we're going on a lot of travels today. High top. top converse. We've got Japanese telly on, which makes us fall asleep because we have lots of jet lag. Here is Bobby. Here are our two twin beds. Japanese rooms are actually quite small. We've loved this room, though. We've been in here for two nights. We're moving rooms every single night, otherwise. We're in the Knot in Senjuku. Um, and this is our 
bathroom let me show you darlings there's actually a big massive step up so it was a bit of a hazard for me um and this is the loo which i don't <laughs> i mean i do usually show you loos who am i kidding but there's loads of braille on it look it's so cool that shower head it looks like a small shower and it looks like non-unassuming but it was the best shower ever that i've ever had in my life so yeah really do rate the knot if you're in sinjuku right here we go our day what are we doing today bobby we are we're going tra we're traveling for most of the day we are yeah um, but you're doing a train station review first i am Hopefully, if we meet me mates that I met yesterday, the gaming went really well, by the way, guys. Um, and we're actually going to download Street Fighter 6 when we get home. I've actually already sent it to the PS5. <laughs> Have you? Then. Ollie's really sent it to the PS5. But yeah, we're really excited. Um, we're going to go on a bullet train today. We're just, yeah, I'm going to go down for breakfast now. Nom, nom, nom. I'm so hungry. I woke up randomly at like 4am last night. Like, oh! What time is it in the UK? And then I was like, shut up, brain. <laughs> Don't tell yourself what time it is at home because you're just going to be hungry. But I was hungry and then I went back to sleep. Anyway, breakfast time. Hello. <laughs> we just keep running. It's a beautiful station. It's, it's all audience. wood furnished. Yeah, only wood furnished. Okay. Oh, okay. We've come out of the nice wood bit and we're oh. flying here. With... <laughs> The signs were following the Ozo guys. Well, the uh, camera got yeah, the local producer. And oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Oh okay, yeah, Riozo, sorry, and I thought you said Rita. No, Riozo. <laughs> we're knackered. Okay, right. I think we've got um, escalators coming up, so I'm gonna turn off the vlog. Oh, okay. We'll get on them. Got your ticket. Let's Shinkansen get on. Ticket. So I'm about to get on a Shinkansen. I'm feeling a bit nervous because I know that they go really really quickly there's 500 shinkansens that leave from here every single day and there's less than a minute delay isn't that crazy less than a minute delay for the entire for year for the entire year if you said that to someone in the uk train network they'd be like please i think we make that up with one train <laughs> yeah and it, well not more than that only like oh, train? on average it's probably like a 15 20 minute delay per day per day like per train, train. <laughs> I'm really happy because I just feel like this station is so accessible. Tokyo itself is like a massive station. It's crazy how big it is. But in terms of accessibility of this platform, it's just been amazing. Like, I really wish that home had this line. Like it's really amazing. We're on the chain Oh, Got heard Have you? The camera is filming out the window in Nagata. You can see lots of grey and white buildings. Lucy is sat in the car chatting to the crew. They drive through a car park and pull up next to a glass building with yellow accents. They get out of the car and you can see a ferry parked on the water nearby. A drone with a camera films over the car park to capture the scenery. We're in the garden at the moment, so yeah, it's very hot. That's what 
skyscrapers yeah. providing shade Lucy is being sight guided through the ferry port <laughs> Ollie scans his ticket at the barrier Lucy walks through the metal barriers and through the entrance to the ferry She is standing in front of the captain, who is playing a gong. The ferry's about to depart! <laughs> that was so bad. Lucy stands by the railings on the ferry with her guide. White text reads Sado Island as the camera films the sea. A pale blue sky with lots of seagulls flying around. Lucy is laughing as the wind blows her hair everywhere. Around the bay, please. Yeah. Step on over. We're in the ferry. You just set off the gong. I do. <laughs> I love it. That's definitely a TikTok as well. <laughs> Lucy follows a yellow tactile line through a green corridor inside the ferry. This blister baby is everywhere. I know I've said it so many times, but it's crazy. It's traditional Japanese food. Sitting on the floor, and they've given me a fork because <laughs> I said I couldn't use chopsticks. Maybe that's copping out. Hey, all maybe. Maybe <laughs> we need to get. Use them? I'm gonna use them because I'm not a wuss. <laughs> I got really emotional and started crying. <laughs> to um, look at traditional mask wearing, which is really cool. Driving by the sea with green hills in the background. Cutaways show traditional Oni masks and wooden sculptures. Lucy tries on a red mask. The camera pans around the room where there are masks covering each wall. Behind me is an Oni mask being made. I love it. I just love the sound. It's so peaceful. I've basically just heard all about how the tradition was started here in the island and how the wood was sourced but now like wood is getting harder to come by. Not as many people are wanting to carve masks although he does have a few students. He's a student work. Onidaiko is a festival where all of these masks are worn and they're meant to ward away evil spirits for a good harvest. In the olden days, rice was like currency, so it was as valuable as money, and they used to trade rice. So, um, yeah, having a good harvest was really important, but also it's just part of the community to have this tradition. And it's just amazing and really tactile. I love it. And then I have just been to an Onodaiko festival. The math looked really evil and also felt really evil, but they're there to ward away bad spirits. They're not actually evil themselves. Obviously, you've seen all the clips in between me talking right now. But, um, we're just in the car. I'm going to do this lantern festival now and then um, we're going to go back for some sleep, I think. I'm so tired, but I'm so excited. Tomorrow we're going to boating. Tub boating? I think that's in the little sort of dirt bowl. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's happening? Time to get out. 
Groups of people holding up shrines using wooden boards chant as they walk through the streets. Lucy follows with her guide, holding a red and white lantern on a stick. The group continue walking down the street, all holding lanterns. So currently, I'm sat on the street outside a Buddhist temple. Um, I've got a shrine next to me of some sort. Uh, I'm waiting on the, the others to, to get their shots and things and while I uh, guard the throne. So we've just had this uh, Oni Daiko festival. But I think this is part of it, if I recall correctly. And um, yeah, they've had all the sort of dancing. It was um, like a bit of a sort of pre-filming day today for that. So there's this um, French company who are also here and they were filming it and we were also asked to sort of join along. So that's why there's not like a huge crowd, but like tomorrow's the big one. Like, will be gone by then, just because of our schedule, sadly, but there'll be a massive crowd then, ready for it, and it will be this huge festival. Where's your procession gone? Huh? Where's your procession gone? Well, we didn't know where you guys were, so we just turned back. Oh, they were, they were following the whole procession, following really? you guys. Uh-oh. So, uh, we lost the procession, didn't we, hun? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we had to come back here. We came back here because we thought we'd lost our producer and our camera uh, guy. And we can't find anybody. And we can't find anybody. <laughs> but you found me sitting on the street. <laughs> we found Ollie. We were like, ooh, oh, no. there he is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but our lantern's lit. It's yeah, pretty, pretty. it's looking it's great. Kind of <laughs> yeah, it's nice and red and white. It has a bamboo stick. <laughs> but, um, now we're just waiting for the procession to come over the horizon so we can get the shots because uh, we walked back. <laughs> I want to go back. Yeah. Burrito Lucy reporting for duty. But can I give you a room tour from my burrito bed? <laughs> so to the right of me is a sink randomly in the room. <laughs> what I found out as well when I came in here, I had no idea what this matting was. What's it called, Ollie? This is a, a, mat. a tatami mat, which is a traditional Japanese flooring. And when we got in here, we had to take our shoes off, which was absolutely epic. By the way, we're in a hotel at, in Sado Island. You guys know that I'm in Sado. Um, over in front of me is a room just with a bath in, which is cool because it has a little thing to like basically wash yourself with, like a pan. Is it a pan or a little bucket thing? I did. It's a little bucket thing. Yeah. No, the little bucket and stool. There is our messy case on the floor. Don't look. There They're looking. There is a TV that only speaks Japanese to us. And it's very soothing as we go to sleep, so we leave it on. Because the dulcet tones of Japanese people is what we like in our lives. Um, what? Are you big? Ollie keeps teasing his dictionary, puts it really close to my face, and he thinks it's really funny. Is he doing it again? <laughs> no, I'm actually at a decent distance. <laughs> and then over there, show them the corridor. Do you think this what's, is o tripping? what's over there? <laughs> Where's over there? The corridor. <laughs> you mean that's like the. <laughs> you mean the, the sort of like. Look, we have to step up, we have to step up to come in. And then there's just the toilet, which you don't really want to see, but it is really good because we keep getting excited that because Japan has B days. We love a good B day, don't we? Or maybe this is too much info for the internet. But it's also got a heated seat. We absolutely love a good B day. Me and Ollie, we love a good B day. That sounds really creepy. Um, yeah, so it smells like wood in here. Actually, the first thing I said when I walked in, I was like, it smells like green tea, which is just divine. I feel like it's a mixture of green tea and also just coming into a sauna. So I'm a happy camper. Not that I'm camping. I will be soon in a monastery full of monks. Morning, we're on the way to turn boat in. You'll see me hopefully be able to steer it. I don't know whether I'm going to go in circles, we'll see. <laughs> they drive through a beautiful green landscape on a sunny day to a car park that overlooks the sea. Tubboat paddles can be seen in a shed. Sexy tubers, epitome of style right now, guys. Yeah, never look so stylish. Lucy climbs into a tub boat with her cameraman. They sail across a beautiful lagoon from the left to the right of the screen.
It is a bright sunny day and the water is glistening and bright green in colour. White text on screen reads Hiroshima. The camera is pointing out the train window with a view of the city landscape. We're in our room in Hiroshima but we're about to leave it. <laughs> we came in at 10pm last night. Here's Bobby getting his yeah. shoes on. This is our room. There's just a bed and a desk and everything. Here's the bathroom. I don't know why I have to show you guys the bathroom every single hotel room. <laughs> Boom. There we go. Right. Breakfast time. We're going to the Hiroshima National Memorial Park and we're going to the A-Dome. A view out of the car window on the way to the Memorial Park. <laughs> the signpost that reads Hiroshima Peace Memorial. We're here in Hiroshima, about to interview Mariko, who is a Habakusha, which means generation survivor of the bomb blast um, just to tell her grandmother and her mother's story to me today I'm really like honoured that she has the time has taken the time out of her day to talk to me about it Lucy walks with her cane alongside Mariko holding an umbrella the camera pans up to a tall grey memorial sculpture that has grey doves on each ledge over there is where Lucy is, she's currently filming. Uh, that's a statue dedicated to a little girl who made a thousand cranes, like they were origami cranes, um, in the hope that the cure of her radiation poisoning from the blast, and sadly it, it didn't. But her friends kept that legacy on, and now it's like a big thing to make a paper crane and leave it over there or by the other peace monument, which is sort of back, back here, a little bit across that bridge. Um, the A-bomb dome. This is the A-bomb dome. So we're only about, I think, 50 meters or so from the actual blast, blast site. Mm -hmm. And because it was a big vertical blast at that point, because it was dropped at 600 meters in the air, it basically just had loads of downwards force and the building was left standing. Apart from well, a lot of room, like a, it's only a quarter remaining, but yeah. The camera points out the car window, showing hills in the distance. So we are now in a Buddhist temple. This is where we're staying the night. Uh, this is just a toilet review. And then uh, some incense making. So that was uh, incredible. She's, she's like, really happy with the cats. And it's quite a modern temple, it may look sort of very traditional on the outside, but it's got air conditioning and everything. So. It's going to hopefully be quite a nice relaxing sleep. It smells incredible in there. Bamboo, tatami mats, the whole shebang. It's just gorgeous. I'm about to pack away my food on that I slept on, on my tatami mat. I'm about to start my 6am meditation with my incense that I made. This food on was so comfy. I initially got into it and thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be a comfy night's sleep. Wake up once the tatami mat is so lovely. So I'm about to roll this up now. Um, I need to just take all the bedding off it, and then we will go outside through into the temple and wait for the monks to start the meditation. The gong is going to go off at 6 a.m., which we'll show you, and then we start. It's a bit crazy. I am quite a morning person though, so I feel a bit like excited. The monks walk in single file along a white path, pausing before they turn towards the right of the screen. Lucy goes through a wooden brown walkway towards the temple.
Lucia sat with her legs crossed, meditating on tatami mats. A monk is sat across from her in the same position. They both have their eyes closed. A monk slaps Lucy's shoulder with a thin wooden plank. He puts his hands together and bows. I've just finished meditating. I feel so zen. Called a zen meditation. And then I rubbed incense on my palms. I can still smell it a little bit. Oh, what do you think? Mmm. So lovely. And then also, um, one of the monks, she picked um, some lovely cosmos from the garden. Apparently, usually at this time of year, they're not out anymore. It's not a spring flower, but they're just beautiful. They don't really smell of lots. Ooh. It's in the leaf, um, but they're so gorgeous, aren't they, Holly? They're, they're beautiful. They're sort of a bit like chamomiles. Yeah. But um, like a pink and sort of fuchsia colour. They're just beautiful. I, just, I love the tactile nature of them because you can really feel like the middle bit and then also the leaves around, which is gorgeous. I'm just going to go in for breakfast now. <laughs> I, um, I've been using chopsticks here for the first time <laughs> and I was doing okay. Okay. It's when you cross them at the top, you're just a bit like, oh. <laughs> it's kind of, you drop all your food. But yeah, we had a gorgeous dinner last night and um, gorgeous breakfast this morning. And then we're going to go in the car back to the Shinkansen and back to Tokyo. So yeah. So we're on the bullet train and we're just pulling into Tokyo now from Hiroshima. It was so good, wasn't it, Ollie? It was. It was just so relaxing. <laughs> yeah, this morning we meditated with monks. It was a bit crazy. But in other news, I've been sitting here for nearly four hours because that's the journey from Hiroshima to Tokyo. And there's a foot rest. And then look at this. I'll go right back. It's like a little lever. <laughs> so cool. I love it. Um, now we're going to film some bits in Tokyo. Tomorrow I'm meeting the blind skater and I'm also meeting an inventor. So, yeah, those are my last two interviews of this BBC shoot. It's gone so quickly. But, um, yeah, I'm also doing a marketing talk which will be really cool with um, my commissioner of this show, of the travel show, um, so that should be really, really cool. I'll update you when I've got more updates, but then we're going to Disney to round off the trip. <laughs> Me and Ollie are staying an extra day, but then you've got your stag do, haven't you, mister? I do. So we have to fly home. We really don't want to go home. We're like, <laughs> are we? <laughs> oh my gosh. It feels like it's gone so quick. Japan, I'm definitely coming back. There is even rail on the bottle recycling in the bullet train. It's just crazy how accessible this is. Also, we went in a disabled load and it's got like a little tactile map of like the layout of the toilet. It's really cool. I wish, I wish, wish, wish I knew Japanese braille. White text reads Tokyo. The camera pans to a board with train times. I'm at the Mirai Kan Museum in Japan and a group of engineers have made sure that this AI suitcase can guide you all the way around the museum. There's amazing tactile exhibits and this suitcase is so, so cool. All you have to do is press the up and down buttons and connect the suitcase to your mobile phone with the app that they provided. I went up and down in the lift three times. I was like calling the lift button. But it was really impressive. The suitcase got me to the lift and up to the fifth floor. <laughs> I just couldn't get out. So they're rebooting it now. Apparently sighted people that use this device are really scared and they're like shuffling a little bit with it. Um, but I was like, right, let's go. <laughs> I'm guided by a guide dog all the time. I never know where I am. <laughs> I'm skateboarding for the first time with a professional blind skateboarder. He was so amazing and he gave me such a confidence boost. I never thought I'd be able to actually ride a skateboard completely blind. And I felt so safe in the knowledge that he was so professional. You can see me here <laughs> using a rope to steady myself. Just 
just finished filming with my last contributor. I'm so tired, but our doc is filmed. It's crazy. You can probably tell that I'm like really low energy. Outside, it feels like 36 degrees. So, all well, this is the team coming in. Are we done? Yeah. Woo! And Lisa's just getting a car for music. Oh, nice. We're in a Tokyo cab. I can't believe we've wrapped everything. I miss the crew already, don't you, Molly? I do. Oh my gosh, so they're so sad. lovely. But in an other news, every time we get in a cab, they've got these gorgeous doily seat covers and it's so clean all over Tokyo. As I've said a million times this vlog probably. Um, and it's just, I just, I love Tokyo cabs. And the driver is taking us on the highway now. Because we're going to Disney, Disney, Disney. This is our personal trip. We've only got one day left. And we're really excited to find some like tactile bits, aren't we all? We are. Let's we're going to try and see what maps and I've heard they've got like tactile models of the roller coasters yeah, and things. Yeah, models of the roller coasters. And we were actually, um, me and Ollie went to a kind of dinner with um, my commissioner at the BBC, uh, Emma Diath, who is lovely. And then we also met the BBC Japan team, um, who are also my colleagues and they basically set up this massive dinner with like the tourism board and people from government over here. And I just told them what we were shooting in Japan and they really loved it, didn't they all? They were oh so sweet. Oh my gosh, sweet. they were so happy about it. <laughs> we just had so many selfies and I said to them the accessibility of the city is just next level and I even told them about Navalens codes um, and whether that would be amazing to put over the city and Ollie showed um, the guy from government his phone. I think he took a picture. I yes, heard, some, I of the, heard, some of them took pictures on my some phone. Of them took pictures of your phone for the Navalens codes. Also, what's really interesting over here is that everyone has business cards and they have a specific way of giving you their business card. I think you bow, you say konnichiwa, and you hold the business card so the person who you're giving it to can read it, so it's the right way around for them. And then there's a specific way of passing it. So how would you do it, Ollie, as if you're giving uh, so me a business So hold card? both hands out. So uh -huh. I can't imagine my hand is a business card yeah. for a second. Uh, grip it with your thumbs. Like that? And then sort of like, sort of place it towards me. Like that? Yeah, and then like lift your, your bow. Bow? Lift my bow? Yeah, so then like look at me and then just sort of, then like you'd hand it to me and then I'd take it and then I'd bow and like read it and things and then, yeah. yeah. Then you had to very safely pocket it. If you like just shove it in your back pocket, like it's, oh, okay. don't think it's like too good a look. Got you. Okay, so there's respect to the card as well. It's amazing. My colleagues at the BBC, they're like, we've never got through so many business cards in one trip. It's definitely a culture thing here. I would love to get braille business cards. It's so cool. <laughs> so, Oliver Cave, soon to be my hubby yeah. with a double barreled name. <laughs> Ooh, exciting. Um, you have never been to Disney before. I have when I was six years old, I went to Florida, which I can't quite remember. And then at age 12 when I went to Paris, but you never, you never went. I've never been to Disneyland. So what are your thoughts, feelings, and experiences that you feel like you're going to take on today? Well, I think that probably, <laughs> in, in all honesty, I, I don't know how different it's going to be from a, a normal theme park. Mm -hmm. like, it, like Disney Sea is meant to be like quite unusual. So maybe something Alton Towers ish. I don't know. But it's it's like looking at the footprint, like it's about the size of like a theme park in the UK called Drayton Manor. Which We went to when we were kids. It's it's very like they pack everything in. So yeah. I, I imagine it might be like noisy, but then noisy doesn't feel like a very Disney thing. So have you got anything you want to see today? I don't know, I'm gonna just have to find out. Disney Sea is like specific to Tokyo, so. Yeah, like a volcano with like a journey to the center of the earth thing in it. Oh, that's cool. That's very me and you. I think it's a water ride of some sort. Oh, wow, let's definitely go on that. I think for me and you, stuff like archeology span and also astronomy, we're very like nerdy like that. That's how we had our first discussions, so. <laughs> 
astronomy yeah. than the archaeology. Well, archaeology in terms of like, I don't know how rocks are. I, like, I love feeling like different rocks when mm. we're out and about. That's I guess true. that's not necessarily archaeology, but... That, that would be geology. Geology, yeah. <laughs> you can tell. Right, Oliver, I'm going to check back in after your experience. So yes. you haven't really got any preconceived notions no, of anything. So far, I think it's going to be like a theme park. Are but you with, excited? With Disney elements. I am excited. I'm interested to see what they've got. Who's your favourite Disney character? Oh, uh, Stitch. Oh, that is very you. That's so cute. So, so we're said, riding. Oh, we're being guided round. Okay. Uh, like a Disney steward. Okay. Telling us to go to the left and to the right. I think this is the. Yeah, that's the that's the main car park, Disney. So I would say the taxi from the main strip in Tokyo, like almost like Tokyo's. We're in Chaw City. Chaw City, yeah, it's Chaw City. So here is around 15 minutes, and it's about 50 quid. 50 pounds, which is it, it's more than I thought, guys, for a taxi. The taxis are very expensive in Tokyo. Um, we were like, but it's been a lovely service so we don't want to knock it okay so there was a little short drive and i think we're coming into the park now yeah you, well you can see the park behind you <laughs> can you yeah i'm so excited oh my god i haven't been to disney since i was 12 and i'm 27 and i'm just as excited so happy and i've never been to disney as a blind person and ollie's never been to disney and i want to see his his disney magic come from within <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just following my tactile line. Oh, konnichiwa. Arigato. So the tactile line brought us to. The tactile line brought us here. So cool. So we are now at the security at checkpoint. The security checkpoint. We got through all of the queues. <laughs> So I'm guessing they need to check us now. They will do. Uh, we've got a little bit of a queue with other disabled people. Nice. So I've got my blind card. I was actually a bit worried about what registration I needed to bring with me, but hopefully this will be okay. It's like my council registration, my vision impairment, well, blindness now. So um, here there's quite different conveyor belt, maybe, next to me. Yeah, it's like an airport. Yeah. We haven't got loads of bags, so it should be okay. <laughs> Have you come in? There's loads of gorgeous music! It's so magical! So cute! <laughs> hey, there's the castle. Welcome to Disneyland Tokyo! Oh, the castle is cute. This is how you come in, guys. The first thing to see. It's a pan around, Dolly Bob. Okay, let's go wide. <laughs> Ooh, this is what you see when you come to Disney. In like a very big marquee. And it's got all the different, well, it's sort of like a town square. It's got all the like the gift shops, the has the greetings, oh. car stationery, fine stationery, Disney code gifts, oh. Penny Arcade, Grand Those Emporium. I'm I want to feel in my fingers, loads of Disney things. Okay, let's go to Disney gifts then. <laughs> oh, look at her bow, Ollie. Are you sure we're not allowed her, Ollie? The smaller one. The feeling of him is so gorgeous. I just love this shop, Ollie. I feel like I'm in heaven. We might have gone a bit crazy in the gift shop, haven't we, Ollie? Oh my gosh, we've got well, so many. How many chopsticks do we have? We spent far too much on chopsticks, but amazing. I love it. Also, we've got these stickers. So that's my name in Japanese as well. And she drew like Mickey Mouse heads on us. That's very cool. Look at you as well. Yeah, let me, let me zoom in on mine. There we go, that's my name in Japanese. <laughs> so and that's, cool. let me zoom in on yours. There's yours, Liz. <laughs> We're on our first ride at Disneyland. How do you feel? Oh, it's exciting. So this is called Western Railway River something. Yes. Oh, it keeps going, oh, of course. Oh, of course. Of course. Hey, hey. <laughs> so cute. Where do you hold on to? You don't. Okay, you just sit I, back I, and relax. Relax. Sit and enjoy the ride. You can now identify what you are doing. There's some animatronic deer standing, looking around. A little bit unnerving. <laughs> Is it weird? It's 
I can't believe you have tactile statues of Mickey and Minnie as well as the roller coaster. Oh, <laughs> amazing! Hello. That's his foot. Oh, he's got he's lovely got shoes tuxedo. on. Yeah. Lucy and Ollie eating ice cream, smiling at the camera. So we've got something. <laughs> Everyone wearing these neck bands. And then Lucy was like, I want one. No, I didn't. You did. You were very much like, get one. And then you're like, only get one, let's go. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to look like an empty without someone else doing it. We were saying, Ollie was like, Oh, public shame. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, I don't care. I want fair, they're quite nice. Yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of worth it. Like, they're all right. They're not like the strongest thing in the world, but they're, they're not, good. But they're they're, they're doing the job. They are, yeah. <laughs> Disney Sea time, is that water making you slightly want to wee? No, it makes me more like trickery, like a dribble. <laughs> what sort of wee are you doing? Quite a, anyway. Oh, line. Follow the line. Oh my god, so cool. Amazing. Line to get services. Yep, and we're here. Woo! Stopping for some food at Disney Sea. This volcano was crazy. It sounded like it was really erupting. Disney characters dance waving flags on a boat circling the lake. 